Alec Pierce, by the way, Scuba LDS, pro tips for you folks out there in the industry, dive store owners and, and dive store workers, clerks, whatever you are, you're in the in instructors. Some of these tips might be worthwhile for you, and sometimes you're just fun to listen to. <laughs> this one, maybe, answering machines. Is it the way it is, it's 2023. You know, you can't call anybody and get them. It doesn't work that way. Uh, you call, you get an answering machine almost all the time. And some of the answering machines are pretty neat. I, I put funny ones on my, uh, my phone because I'm funny. Other people put stupid ones on their phones for, for another reason. And uh, some of them put on answering machine, messages on their answering machine that sound to them very, very efficient, very complete. But they're not. They're not, not good. Let's talk about answering machine messages is what I'm talking about. Mess when you phone a company, what do you get? Right out of there, you phone a company, particularly if it's a large institution or the government, right away. You get a, Please listen carefully to the following messages since the options have changed. Why have the options? They change the options every day. That's what this company does for a living, change options. Because every time, if you call three times in one day, they change the options. Always that way. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. It can't be a real nuisance. Let's talk about a stupid one. I, you get these quite often. I, now, by the way, if your answering machine sounds like this, please don't take it personally. I don't know you. <laughs> but to me, and it's just my opinion. Okay, so I call. I call 705-324-2864. Click. Answering machine, right? You've reached 705-324-2864. I know. I just dialed it. The number is I'm, I'm looking. Yeah, I know. Total waste. He said, leave a message, I'll call you back. Doesn't mean a darn thing, you know, and sometimes I just hang up. So that's what I call a stupid answering machine. It should be at least a little bit personable. Now, I'm talking about people in business. If it's your own personal phone, you're not in business, the only people that call you your best friend Dave, or your ex-girlfriends, or wherever it is, your kids, whatever, you put whoever you want on there, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but if you're in business, in many, many cases, that person who called looked your number up on the phone book. Look, phone book? Uh. Looked your number up, went to Google, looked for scuba stores, and found there's four, and you started calling. Called the first one, got the number, and you've reached 7053. Stop. Go to number two. So you have to be very careful. Point is, this is often the first impression. The answering machine, the message that you have on your answering machine is often the first time that they get to talk to anybody from your business. It's got to be important. As I've said to many, many receptionists in an office, you know, a big office is often a receptionist, and she says, how are you today, sir? I said, I'm just fine. I'm looking for Bob, whoever it is. And I've said to those ladies often, or guys, many times, you're the most important person in this building, most important person in the company, because if I don't like you, I'm out of here. If you don't put me through, if you're not efficient and friendly, I'm out of here. I don't care about Bob, you damn salesman. And they take it as a compliment, and it is a compliment, and it's true. And it's the same with your answer machine. It has to be a good, concise, interesting, pleasant message. Let me see if I can give you some examples. You call a dive store. Now, you know that dive stores, uh, the scuba industry is not a really, really big industry. You know, we're, we're not talking the drug industry here. Uh, and we're not talking insurance or a big industry. It's a small industry. It's a very personal industry. So in a dive store, typically, that's a dive store like this. Typically, there's an owner. You know, it may be the only person working there. It could be the owner and his wife. It could be the owner. Maybe he's got two staff members and two or three instructors. Okay? So... <clears throat> Why would you not have somebody answer the, an answer the phone when it rings, as opposed to an answering machine? Answer the phone. It's a very personal business. It's important. Person calls, you pick the phone up. Hi, this is Alex, Scuba 2000. How can I make you happy today? Hey, maybe you're not a ham. Maybe you feel funny talking like that. You decide what works well for you. The point is, it should be a person, my opinion. And it should be somebody pleasant. You're there to help them. They're calling up because they have a question. They always have a question. Are you open? You know, how much are your masks? <laughs> or my favorite, do you sell blue snorkels? And on and on it goes. Not, not the point. They looked up your number somehow, Google, whatever it happens to be. Now they've called and they want some help. And they get a damn machine. Answer. Hi, this is Alec, Scuba 2000. Thanks for calling. How can I help you today? 
and then wait for their end, wait for their question. Off it goes. There's three or four or five, you know, if you want to speak to service department, Jody answers anyway. I want to speak to sales department, Jody answers anyway. Yeah, see, there's only four people working in the dive store, and four people, is a, you know, if they're working there full time, that's a decent sized dive store. So why do you have nine options? I, it's, it just drives me crazy. So I did mention that uh, your message has to be complete. It has to answer a few of the questions. You want to be very careful that your answer machine doesn't answer all of the questions. You don't want to tell them all the brands you have and the colors and sizes. You don't want to tell them when the train. If you tell them, answer them everything, there's no reason for them to leave a message. They know everything. Have you thought about that? Sometimes you get an answer machine, and by the time the message has finished, you know all about the place. If you know all about the place, no point going. So you want to give them enough information and general enough that it creates interest but doesn't answer all their questions. If you answer all their questions, they won't call back with a question. Okay? So that's the idea. Basically make it short, make it concise, make it reasonably complete, give them important information, and for God's sakes, make it pleasant and personal. Okay? Give it a try. Listen to your own answer machine. Get somebody else to call and listen to your answer machine and get, see if you can get their honest opinion. Get me to call and listen to your answer machine because I'll give you an honest answer what I think about it. <laughs> Maybe you have somebody else who will give it to you straight up and see what you think. Maybe your answer machine is perfect. That's a thought though. It's a very, very important part of your business, the answer machine. Have fun, take care, good luck guys. Talk to you soon. Alec Pierce.